So we're here at a, um, Freedom in Maria, we're having a little bit of red wine. In a gallery here, they have some um, political bigwigs, but I thought I should look at the gallery here. Um, yes, I just talked to Bob Packwood. And um, I guess I should out myself and say I voted for him. And oh, there's an interesting restroom there. But it's a very lovely location here, and I'm trying to have as few people as possible in my video. Although, these are political people, these people wouldn't mind. Hello, it's just looking here. Hello! Anyway, I'm in the wonderful Pearl. <laughs> and I like wonderful. I should not call myself Pearl. But, um, anyway. Um, it's possible I could meet my uncle and his um, girlfriend here who might be a little surprised to see me. Um, his um, wife is sort of um, um, so they have a, some of these things are for sale. Hi there. So trying to have as few people in my videos as possible. I think <laughs> Although I think most everyone here is probably fine with being videotaped. But these paintings are, are very nice and I like them all for the most part. But the ones over on this side are a little odder, but I very much like them. I'm just running through this art exhibit. These are the kind of paintings that I thought was very kind of interesting. I recognize that paintbrush. I have a couple like that at my place. Kind of like the these, but I kind of really like these here. Um, they remind me of. Um, of this gal who um, joined her YouTuber group. But they remind me of um, of her a little bit. The big eyes, that is. Remind me of Tim Burton, kind of. Stick your head in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> but this is all white space here. This is multiple galleries. Yeah, it's sort of the Tim Burton-esque kind of paintings. Yeah, I'm running through here real fast. Probably as fast as I should. <laughs> definitely strange photos, but I definitely like them. Alien. There are multiple groups that are part of this um, group here. Many of them on the left, but there are um, a few. Um, I guess I can help myself. I'm kind of a log cabin Republican. Um, yeah. And I'm dressed up like this. And I met our former United States Senator, um, Mr. Um, Bob Packwood. Um, I voted for him. I think. I'm pretty sure I voted for him. Um, he was a good, um, nowadays he'd be considered to be a rhino, rhinoceros, 
Um, but anyway, shook his hand and anyhow. There I am. I've adjusted my um, alert to my call it. And I think it's good boy. Something off the lens. Nothing horrible, sticky or anything horrible like that, but so I'm trying Jane's voice. Jane, you ignorant slut. It's like you're just like one of those little Oh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyhow, I've told this a long ways away to get this take anything other than my face. <laughs> but uh, the feet and the shoes. And um, so I was watching a video of my friend Jenny Marie. Um, and she has such good advice. And um, was just listening to it just as I got here, um, before I got here, up in the Northwest Branch. I see my friend Cynthia. Um, I may or may not see her later, but um, I don't know. It would be a blessing and a curse if I see her again because, like, she's a bit of a... Um, yeah, I like her. She's my friend. I love her. But I'm not in love with her. Hey, <laughs> I kid. Um, her. But anyway, so here I'm at this wonderful um, Freedom to Mary event. My name. And I was just adjusting my stuff. Well, not adjusting my stuff, that's the other stuff. Hey, <laughs> um, I am. There we go. So, anyway, um, the video I was listening to earlier had such great advice about um, doing the whole. Um, um, Good advice about um, about um, about um, getting yourself straight with the um, doctors and and like I've considered like as if I've kind of lived this way. Um, I'm not really kind of out, and I haven't talked to a therapist, so that's what I need to do. I need to go about talking to a therapist because it's what's necessary to do what I do and. Um, it's a wonderful bathroom. Still a little stuff in the sink. Because the water run and then the stuff will go down. I have a pretty sink without a bunch of suds in it. Well, the suds are going to mess up my world, but what can you do? Oh, I see people with food. I see people with food. Food, food, food. I think that means that they have food out here. Oh, here's the food. Here's the here's the place I want to go. Except for I'm not sure if I like what I see. Although they have cookies and cheese. Cookies and cheese. I like cookies and cheese. They have deviled eggs or something. Not into the devil. Not into the deviled eggs. That one reminds me of Fran Leibowitz. So, just some cool cheeses. China. Oh, no. oh. There we go. Let's have a little piece of this bread. Um, one or two of those. Um, a couple of these cheeses. A couple of these cheeses. Thank you, cheeses. You know what kind of stuff that is. It looks good though. Those look wonderful. Meatballs. Meatballs. I like the spicy meatball. A little bit of cheese on there. And a cookie. And I should grab some of the oh it's gonna call it cheese. Mm. 
What I'm doing, I don't have anything to really wipe my hands on. Mm. Mm. You know, an apricot. I shouldn't make a video of me eating. Not wise. Here we go. I'm going to eat cookie. Oh, too, too much embarrassment. Mm. I'm supposed to add coffee at this event. He's got a better camera than I have. Who you knows? I could be an American um, Portland's NBC affiliate. Go back to eat my cookie. The old cups? Yes, right here. Oh, Would you thank like you. One? You know, maybe later. Okay. Thank you very much. You're very This looks like a pretty big event here. And um, it's very nice that they've um, reinvented the pearl here. Because uh, This is kind of a place, kind of like what they would have had in New York, um, block building, you know? Maybe the older white right haired gentleman here is um, former Senator Bob Packwood. And I am very proud to have shaked his hand. And I voted for him um, more than one time. There are Fox affiliates. So the um, one gentleman, the third gentleman, uh, he's our um, leader of our, or possibly one of the leaders of our uh, Lock Cabin Republicans. I should have probably tried to groom better. Well, this is the NBC is there. Hey, hi there. You guys are the NBC people? Yeah, I'm CBS. ABC. Oh, very good. You're KQ. Wonderful. Yeah, we're glad to be here. Yes. I often ride by your TV station. Oh, uh, I'm on my way home. I'm Sandy, yeah, I'm on, on, on my way home. Oh, I'm sorry. So, I see I can drop my 
stuff here. <laughs> can I drop this in your garbage can? Let's put that there. This is uh, quite the thing. If I uh, wasn't driving up here and needed to take the um, car back, I could really have a lot of fun um, drinking like a mad, mad girl, mad man, mad girl. This is going to be a popular event. which one the marriage ring is. Which ring is, which finger is the marriage ring? The marriage ring? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I think it's left. Left? Left? Okay, left and um, this one or this one? Uh, one more. This one? Third one. Third one? This one? Third finger, not the middle one. Always bride mates. Never a bride. <laughs> I got the ring on the right, correct finger. I'm in Pearl, across the street. I gotta put some money in my car. I mean, in. I gotta put money in the thing, meter. Thing. I think those boys were there deciding to give me a ticket if I don't have proper. There we go. Anyway, I'm gonna try the girl voice since it's not very good at doing that yet. But no ticket yet. Oh, no. So, here we are. So, oh, no. put the new one. Luckily, I'm very centrally located because I do want to have my what to call it. Um, there's all of my other ticket things, and I want to get my phone. I do like to know what time it is. I I feel lost if I don't have my phone on me to know what time it is. That's silly, but that's me. Um, crossing the 405 from, well, this is, um, cross from Slabtown. One of the areas that had one of the first, uh, um, electrified dance floors, like in Saturday Night Live. So almost perfect timing for me to, um, get the, uh, more time on the thing. I don't know if any of these other people are going to join our little party here. Um, I 
I don't know who I may see here. I've already seen the um, our, our, our uh, <coughs> former senator, Mr. Packwood. I already signed in, so. Lucky me, I'm parked very centrally. Oh, I'm talking to the camera. I'm sorry. I'm not insane. I'm talking to my YouTube subscribers. <laughs> yeah, luckily I'm, I'm parked right over here on the corner here. Oh, it looks like we got Chris Christie with me. No, I'm sorry. the crowd. Oh, 
talking. You guys should stop telling her to start talking. I think that's a better angle for me. That makes me look more feminine. Because if I wanted to be more masculine, I'd have this angle. One. one of the stranger looking ones. There's nothing strange about me. <laughs> this one's kind of odd too. Somebody starts to talk. They're about ready to start. Good man. They're gonna get this party Welcome started. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for coming to our historical launch of the Freedom of Oregon Initiative. Woo! I can't wait to advocate for the passage of the Marriage Equality Amendment led by our Republicans and Independents. Thank you all. Before I get started, um, to introduce our first special guest, we have two for you this evening. I want to thank a few of our special guests we have in attendance, who will not unfortunately be speaking, but we appreciate their support so much. My name is Hillary Bounds. I sit on the steering committee for Freedom Oregon. And with us this evening, we have Representative Vicki Berger, Representative Julie Parrish, Representative Jim Thompson, and two of our longtime friend and advocates, former Representative Chuck Carpenter and former Senator Bob Packwood. Thank you guys. Here, here. So first of our speakers is the reason why I advocate for this issue. Many of you know him from his story on the cover of Sports Illustrated. You may have even watched him play as a starter for two NBA Finals teams or even way, way back in the day when we were in college and he led our team to the Final Four, to the number one ranking in the, co in the country, and to an All-American season his senior year. <laughs> Before he's a first round draft pick in the NBA, he's played 12 seasons and he is an example and a model to us all, but I wanted to speak to you about the courage that he had, which is to me his greatest accomplishment, is to lead this discussion about gay rights and gay marriage in this country. I first saw that courage a couple of years ago, before I was in the media, when my best friend came here to Portland, all the way from LA, to tell me that he was gay and ready to leave an honest life. And, you know, I have lots of Friends, I've had that conversation with many friends of mine who have come to say they want to lead an honest life as a gay person. But he had a bit of a unique job that made it a different conversation. And as I sat there with so many thoughts racing through my mind about what it would mean to be a professional athlete who was gay, or to be a black man who was gay, or to be, you know, a son who's gay, it I asked him, which I'm very happy that I did, I asked him, what do you want? And, which is not something I ask very often. <laughs> I was not tell him what he wants, but I asked that day. And he said, I want to fall in love, and I want to get married, and I want to have a family with my husband. And I just stopped, and all the thoughts in my mind of, how this was going to help children and how this was going to start a national conversation just 
didn't seem to be the priority. The priority is to make sure that every American and every Oregonian has the chance to fall in love and get married and raise a family. Here, here. Yeah. I grew up in Eastern Oregon in a very conservative Republican family, but my family taught us that you are a conservative by respecting personal values, by respecting family values. Here, here. And it was always assumed that, of course, gays should have the same rights in America as all people do. And it, it's a bit of a surprise to me that this conversation is the conversation that it still is today. But what I've had the, the honor to be able to work with this organization and to try to change the way Oregon's, Oregonians live their lives and the how we can, as Republicans, as independents, as all Oregonians, respect people's personal liberties and let them make their own choices and respect them as we respect all humans. So I am very honored to get to introduce to you Jason Collins, who gave me a new perspective on life and the important things it takes to stand up for in this life. And and the courage it takes and what you can do to help other people. Um, so thank you all for joining us and thank you, Jason, for joining us. You're very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of hype. I want to thank Hillary touching words. Um, I told Hillary, I want to say, two days after I told my parents. Um, that's how much her friendship means to me. Um, we've known each other since freshman year of college, and uh, when she told me about this event, um, I said, if it works in my schedule, I'll be here, and it, it works in my schedule, so I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Last spring, uh, I played for the Washington Wizards, and I lived um, less than three miles away from the Supreme Court. And when the cases were being heard, uh, DOMA and Pop 8, uh, it was hard for me to focus on the basketball because so close to me was, uh, were cases being heard that had a direct impact on my life, on my happiness and I chose to remain silent. And it was so hard for me to do that. And now that I'm out, I feel I have a responsibility to speak up for the rest of the professional athletes, or athletes, or people who choose to remain silent. It's important for all of us to come together and support each other as fellow citizens, respecting one another, the definition of a marriage shouldn't be between a man and a woman. It should be about the love and the relationship between two people. And if you get blessed with children, like my brother, I have a twin brother and he has three children. Um, they're my world. And like Hill said, that's what I want down the road. Um, this organization coming together proves that it doesn't matter if you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, uh, that when we all work together, we can accomplish great things. And that's why I'm here tonight, to stand with you. I love coming to Oregon. Uh, Hill, and also my uh, other former uh, college roommate, works for Nike. I know we have some Nike folks in the town. Sorry, Nike folks here tonight. <laughs> and I uh, just want to say thank you for having me here. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Um, our, <clears throat> I'd like to introduce uh, our next speaker today. 
is Connor Merchant. And Connor, uh, we're transitioning from national all-star to hometown hero. Uh, Connor is a football player at Willamette University. And he recently made headlines across the nation uh, for being open about his sexuality. Inside, Connor went to his coach and said, Coach, I'm, I'm gay. His coach said, oh, thank God. I thought you were going to tell me you were transferring. <laughs> Connor is a fellow Republican good man. I appreciate that. And he's here with all the rest of us to support the freedom to marry in Oregon. Please help me welcome Connor. they didn't mention is I'm also an NBA player. <laughs> thank you for that introduction. Uh, it really means a lot. Uh, I'd first like to thank Freedom Oregon for uh, hosting this event. Uh, the Timbers got a special place in my heart. Uh, I'm a Sounders fan, so don't kill me. Uh, <laughs> but Cascadia, you gotta love it. Um, and I look out and I see a lot of really incredible people here today staying on my left, right. Um, I see Jason Collins, who's just been a catalyst for the acceptance of LGBT athletes like myself. Um, and have not only just been an inspiration to me personally, but the entire uh, country. Um, and a time when I was just figuring out who I was, uh, was about the right time when Jason came out and it really, I don't know, I, I remember reading his article and just crying, thinking that there's hope and that we're moving in the right direction finally. Um, but I do have a confession to make. Uh, I've been on strike with the NBA since Oklahoma stole my Sonics. <laughs> Um, so we're here to celebrate love and the rights and freedoms that come with love. The freedom to marry whoever it is you want to marry and share the rest of your life with. Now, many of you don't know me, which is fine, because I've never been big on talking about myself. But one thing I'm very passionate about is my beliefs and the things I hold dear to me. One of those beliefs and the things that I believe in the most is love. Um, I used to write a lot when I was younger, I can't say kid because I guess I'm still a kid. <laughs> but earlier on in my uh, high school, I, I wrote a lot. It was definitely a big escape for me from the rest of the world. And I wrote a part of this and I just un dug it up and uh, ended up editing a little bit. But um, I, I thought I could share it tonight. And so it says, one thing that I believe in is love. The raw and awesome power that love possesses and hate aspires to attain. I've seen many different types of love throughout my entire life. Love is one of the most powerful forces in existence, a force which cannot and should not be bound by the shackles of law. Um, so, I just really appreciate you guys having me out here tonight. I'm very humbled that I even got asked. Uh, take care. Have a good evening. Thanks so much for sharing with us. Folks, we here tonight are making history together, us, in this room. This is the first group of Republican and liberty-minded conservatives in the country to come together on a statewide basis and say, we're gonna fight for the freedom to marry in our state. Okay. Okay. One, tell your family, your friends, your co-workers about Freedom Oregon. Tell them to go to the website, www.freedomor.com, sign up, and get involved. Two, come to the Dorchester Conference. It's a political conference going on next month where the Republicans will vote and pass the Freedom to Marry and our support for that. Funds if you can. Every cent that you donate goes directly to help pass freedom to or freedom to marry in Oregon, and you can go do it by going straight to uh, freedomor.com. Just click donate. Or folks with iPads around here, I see them holding them up. They'd be ha they'd be happy to take your money from them. So <laughs> don't don't hesitate. Okay, I want to give a special thanks to the Timbers Army folks who are here to support freedom to marry. And Joshua right here, raise your hand, Joshua, for doing our website for us. Yay! Thanks to Julian Sky, our wine for the wonderful drinks tonight. And remember, folks, together, we will make history. Thank you. Enjoy the evening. Yay! Well, I guess that was the uh, formal part.
A great Oregonian and a statesman too. Sorry. Oh no, that's it. Okay. You probably describe uh, our other United States senator, um, our late senator, as a statesman too. But I think Bob Packwood was a statesman too. He was a great. He is a great Oregonian. Oh, I better not take a shortcut through here. Not a good idea. These prints are a bit much, I think, but. Still a good price. There's our Fox affiliate. Timber Army people are the members of the Timbers, or if they're the people that support the Timbers and like to yell and do all that fun stuff at the games. Maybe I'll get a third one. I'll be okay. No more. Just this. Third glass is a charm. Good about 
making it through crowds. Not so good anymore. Expensive prints, so 500 something. I thought the oil paints might be. No, no, these are 45 each. Okay. So that's certainly worth five, six hundred dollars. I like that one too. about myself but no that's not the case I think I will see if they have any more goodies
It really shouldn't really be considered even Fox programming because, like, you know, there's a um, cable outlet and then there's a local television station that has their own slant. Oh, there's like some very pretty pictures over here. Positively no trespassing. I've never seen this place being redone. And there's a scale over here. Dare I step on it? I think not. Ah! Locked in place. Oh. I like that there's an access thing. I don't know if this is weighing us down. There's a scale right there. I think this might be the scale where you stand to get weighed. I think I readjusted the camera to a more appropriate setting. For this party. Now you can't say Oregon Republicans and Independents don't know how to party. Because I have documented proof. They know how to get the party started. Oh. Yes, the booze have been paid by for already. Why? Partly why I felt like I should donate some money. Yeah, I'll see if they have cookies again. Do I have cookies? have some of this cheese. Thank you, Kiko. Thank you, Chi. 
Jesus.